often tell me, oh, I cannot play guitars because my fingers are so short. If it's true, no. It's not about the length of your fingers. It's about the strength, the flexibility, being accurate, and of course, having the right position when you play. My name is Thule, and today I will share with you some basic rules and exercise for left hand on classical guitar. Your finger should press almost like a 90 degree to the string, straight in, and should be on the right end of the fret to have the best sound, not here, because it gives a very buzzing sound, same as every other finger. You see? So, right, wrong. The thumb always stay behind the neck to support, but not high. You shouldn't see the thumb from the front like this. And you cannot hang your thumb in here because then you cannot be free to move around the neck. Next thing that I saw many beginners uh, doing is this part, the palm of the, of the hand, shouldn't touch the neck. You should always give a free space here to help you be free and move, to move. And the position is also very natural of how you approach the neck. Not too much out, not too much in, just natural. Also, I have to mention a very important thing. Make sure your left hand nails are always short because of the position that we need to press straight in. The long nails will make you difficult to press in a proper way. The first exercise I'm gonna show you, a very basic and classic one for left hand chromatic scale. By simply using one, two, three, four on four fret and then move up all the way to the 12th fret while using on the right hand just I and M. You can do this with all other strings and also you can go this direction up to the bass strings. important to remember in this exercise is not to move your finger too much out of the string. Remember the shortest way is the fastest way. So if you want to play fast in the future and to have a smooth sound, don't move your left hand all over the place like this. That is wrong. Try to be very saving every movement. It looks better and it sounds also better. Talking about saving movement, here is a variation of chromatic scale, which I still use one, two, three, four, but on continuous fret. Now I always have finger one stay on the string and the four will wait until finger one arrive to the next fret. You know, it's like the, like the caterpillars, when they're walking, they always have legs attached on the floor. But I want you to do it slowly first. You can also do the reverse way, 4, 3, 2, 1. so on and you can also do it in the other strings uh, it's important to do it slowly look at every movement of your fingers do not move out too far do not put the thumb up here and if you want to play fast you would have to wait the third exercise is a little bit practice on the independence of finger as we all know it's important for each of our fingers to be independent 
So this is, uh, I think, the most simple exercise for independence. We can start uh, with the first string. One, three, four, two, three. fret or you also can go this direction and you can also do another combination I would say I would do from uh, the 12th fret by using 4 2 1 3 2 The last exercise today will stress your fingers even more. It also helps uh, for your wrist to be flexible. I'm still using one, two, three, four on four frets, but in four different strings. So fourth string, third string, second string, and first string. On the right hand, I will use P, I, M, A. And then I switch the other way, one, two, three, four, and the right hand now is A, M, I, P. If you want to increase the tempo after some times, that is one of my favorite exercises, and I'm still doing it now as a warm up routine. It's really helpful for me to stretch my fingers, especially in the morning, and also for the wrist to react quickly. On the above exercise, you can use it as a warm-up routine daily. I would suggest to practice with metronome. Start slowly and increase the tempo as you feel comfortable. In the next few weeks, I will post more exercise for left hand about strength, flexibility, independence. Good luck and ciao!